Linda Bartsch from the Bruce Company taking your calls at 270-9933. That's an unusual root system. It is, isn't it? Those are tiny little aerial roots that are developing that then become like little stilts. And so this plant can actually sort of move and broaden out its, its scope. It's a screw pine and it naturally grows in a sandier soil, but we can grow it as a house plant. And so I that's not, it's not in the soil, it's just sort of floating. It's, it's starting from the base of the plant and it's going to grow down into the soil and just extend the, the root system around the plant. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so easy to care. Lots of pretty plants. It's spring at the Bruce Company. It's always spring at the Bruce yes. Company. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. We'll start with Peter in Marshall. Hi, Peter. Hey, uh, Mark and Linda. Hi. Uh, I have acquired a uh, small pot last summer. It contains what I believe they call a chick and a hen. And I'm wondering what is the best way to uh, either repot those or leave them indoors. Okay. Peter, what I know that as is hen and chicks, and it is a succulent, and it can be grown as a house plant inside, or um, it will survive our, our um, winters. But obviously, you can't plant it outside now. Keep it as a house plant. Don't repot it until probably March, or just move it right out into the ground once uh, things get warmer in April and May. Yeah, I have some right, right along my deck, and mm -hmm. they flower and expand. Yes. Rabbits like them, though. So hang. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You need some snow to protect them. Yes, Jalen in Madison. Hi, what's your question? Is it Jalene? Yes, it is. Hi, what's your question? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm interested in uh, planting some organic herbs uh, on my porch. And I want to know what kind of dirt shall I get? Okay. I want the best quality of dirt to get okay. uh, to start this, to grow my herbs. Jillian, when, when people pay for soil, that it's not dirt anymore, but we have we have some. <laughs> it turns into soil. <laughs> yes, it does. It, we have some really good potting soil that I would recommend. So you can start them, um, actually from seed, or if you purchase the plants, we'll have different herbs available, and that is going to work very well. It drains well. It doesn't get hard. So it's it's a good potting mix that we have at the Bruce Company. You get what you pay for. Yes, you do. All right, let's go to Jeff in Dodgeville. Hi, Jeff. Jeff, you there? Yes, I'm here. What's your question? Um, a couple of years ago, I bought a couple of hydrangea plants that claim that they bloom on dead wood. I'm not sure what that means, but could you explain that? Okay, I think what that means is that it's, it blooms on old wood. In other words, um, some hydrangeas, the new growth that comes up, like Annabelle hydrangea, that's a very um, traditional, old-fashioned hydrangea, and the new growth that comes up every year, that will develop flowers. On many of the new hydrangeas, the wood that is two years old, so it's not dead, it's just that it's older wood, that will develop flowers also, as well as the new growth that comes will have flowers. So you don't want to prune those in the fall? Correct, yes. Dawn and Madison, go ahead with your question. Yeah, um, I purchased, um, a little while ago, I purchased a orchid. It's one of the most common ones that you can get. I've heard you say its name on TV before. Uh-huh, Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, when it finished blooming, um, I asked the people I bought it from what I was supposed to do with the stems. They told me to cut them way down. So I did, and now it's dying. The whole thing is dying. The leaves are dying. Everything is just dying. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, usually what I suggest to people is that when it gets done flowering, leave that flower stalk on because many times if there, there's enough energy that it will come with a whole second set of uh, flowers on that stalk unless it turns brown. If it turns brown, then cut it off. But the leaves should stay, still stay live and healthy. And I keep mine growing through the winter, and then I move them outside during the summer, and I have quite a few of them re-blooming. Just a, good luck. like an ice cube of water a week. You can do the ice cube trick or you can just do a quarter, quarter cup quarter. also. That's yeah. why I do a quarter cup. Me too. All right, we are out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. Linda, we'll talk to you off the air. We'll see you next week. Excellent. And we'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.